Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's your man Goji Horror Fan 1980 back with another video for you guys today. And today's video is going to be another review video for you guys today. And today's review video, I wanted to review one of my all time favorite horror movies, series, or franchises of all time, which is the Wrong Turn series. So without further ado, let's get started. I got this on Amazon. It's it's a really neat cover. Wrong Turn 3 pack comes with the first Wrong Turn, Wrong Turn 2, Dead End, and Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead. It is really neat that the background is neat. Um, where it's at the... Appalachian Hills backwoods and this deformed cannibalistic hillbilly with an is that an axe or a pickaxe or um and what is that let me know down in the comments below trying to torture and kill that girl alright let's go back in time to 2003 this was way before I was even born wrong turn um, um, when this movie came out there was nothing like this except for um, movies like the original Hells Have Eyes when this movie came out um, There was nothing like that, except for the original Hell's Have Eyes. Can you believe that? <clears throat> um. So it has Desmond Harrington, Eliza Dushku, and Jeremy Sisto in it. It's about this guy. Um. Um, Desmond Harrington's character, he's like going on a road trip vacation and then he gets lost and then he meets up with these other guys, Eliza Dushku and Jeremy Sisto's character and two other characters that I don't even recognize. Um, and then they get caught by these three um, um, deformed cannibalistic hillbillies, and then they try to torture them and kill them. So, yeah, this movie was awesome. It was really good. Yeah, this movie was excellent. Then you get your sequel, Wrong Turn 2, Dead End, unrated. And about stuff being unrated... The first Wrong Turn was only rated R, and then the rest were unrated. Wrong Turn 2, Dead End, unrated. Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead, unrated. Wrong Turn 4, Bloody Beginnings, unrated. Wrong Turn 5, Bloodlines, unrated. And wrong turn six, last resort, unrated. And, 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 uh, and the wrong turn remake is only rated R too. So yeah. So, Wrong Turn 2, I thought was cool. Um, so, what Wrong Turn 2 Dead End is about, um, it's about this post-apocalyptic reality TV show. And, um, and 
Crystal O from Final Destination 3's in this. Yeah, my mother was scared and shocked about that film because of the roller coaster accidents and people falling off roller coasters and the blood and gore effects. It was, it, it was painful for her to see all that. So we changed it to something else instead, something different. All right, so, so what this film's about, you got a whole family of deformed cannibalistic hillbillies and it all goes wrong when one by one, the, um, the characters get missing and get tortured and killed in the post-apocalyptic reality TV show becomes a real thing. You need to survive the second movie. I thought that was cool and fantastic. I thought everybody in this movie was did a fantastic job. And then you get to Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead, unrated. Um, um, so this take, everybody gives this movie shit. A lot of people shit on this movie. And, but to be honest, I liked it. It takes place in this prison bus. You get the bus driver, you get the bus passenger. That keeps an eye on the prisoners. The prisoners are in the back of the bus. Then they get into a bus accident, um, like, and the uh, hills have eyes. Um, but instead of the being nonfiction, this is fiction. Wrong turn was fiction. Um, and then they got to sir. In, in this movie, um, there are only two deformed cannibalistic hillbillies. Um, and then they get caught by them, and then they try to torture them and try to kill them. And there's this Mexican guy with a pistol gun. He was badass. I'm not gonna lie, he was badass. The first three were excellent. Loved him. Then you get to wrong turn four, Bloody Beginnings, unrated. <clears throat> <clears throat> I am so sorry guys, um, 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 my throat feels funny today and so does my mouth. So this movie is a prequel to the first one, Wrong Turn, which I thought was pretty good. Um. And this movie takes place in an isolated and abandoned, in an abandoned sanatorium. Otherwise, in a isolated and abandoned hospital. And all, and then the then these college high uh, otherwise high school kids find these. Find a Super 8 camera and this and these Super 8 tapes. I'm not gonna spoil it, but then they watch them. And then they re realize they are weird. And then all of a sudden, they get caught by three deformed cannibalistic um, hillbillies. And they try to torture them and try to kill them. This movie wasn't that bad, but I was disappointed about the ending, though. This movie was pretty good. Loved it. Then you get to this one, which I loved. Wrong Turn 5, Bloodlines, Unrated. Fear Will Consume You. 
this movie has four deformed hillbillies and cannibalistic hillbillies in this movie. Um, and Doug Bradley, yeah, he, the guy who plays Pinhead, he he's in this, and he's in um, almost every Hellraiser movie. Yeah, he's cool. A lot of people like him. A lot of people love this guy just but because he plays Pinhead, and. And for a lot of other movies too, like just like this one. So what this movie's about, Doug Bradley, he's like stuck in this jail, and the three other deformed hillbillies, um, need to bust him out of jail, cause it's like his their family. Um, so they try, um, torturing and murdering people just to bust Doug Bradley out of jail. Doug Bradley, he did it. He does a fantastic job. Um, as, um, being one of the four deformed, um, cannibalistic hillbillies. Then you get this atrocious piece of shit. Wrong Turn 6, Last Resort, unrated. This movie could have been better. It it definitely would have. Um, what this movie is about, it's about these college kids or high school kids. They check into this like all popular luxurious hotel and there's and there's six deformed cannibalistic hillbillies in this movie and then they get caught by them and it's just blah um it didn't the storyline of this film didn't make sense to me it was just blah so yeah, I mean, no, down in the comments below what you think of the, of the franchise, including this film. I, I got this movie for super cheap on Amazon. I couldn't even find a DVD version of it. It was only on Blu-ray and digital HD. So yeah, that movie sucked. Then you get this, the remake, Wrong Turn. And surprisingly, this movie was good. It was pretty well done. Um, but it's about these like college kids. Um, 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 they're like going on vacation, um, to this motel. Then after, then days later, they go take a hike and, a, and an Appalachian Trail. And surprisingly, I thought that was a lot better. And 20th Century Fox, yes, I know it's called 20th Century Studios, which which sucks but they gave the rights to Lionsgate and Saban Films and Constantin Film and The Sea Collective to make this film so yeah they take a hike in the Appalachian Trail and then they get caught by these skeleton masked um, cannibalistic hillbillies then they try to torture them and kill them and they make booby traps to try and catch them as well. Yeah, this movie was awesome. Loved it. And that's it. So what's your um, um, top favorite wrong turn movie? And what is your least and worst favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. 
and also um, I have a whole DVD shop full of movies um, so let me know down in the comments below what movie or otherwise movie franchise I should review next so this is Goji Horror Fan 1980 make sure to smash that like button make sure to comment below if you're comment below and subscribe to the channel if you're new and also ring that notifications bell about notifications about this channel and peace out my fans